ball to the 41. And again, Brian George is out. It's a flea flicker. Van Dyke threw a touchdown a week ago on a flea flicker. This time he finds Redding for a more modest gain. Jalen Knighton back healthy. He had a free play. Game, and he will take that free play and make a long throw and a catch made at the 32 yard line by Keyshawn Smith. 6 5. Van Dyke looking to his left and delivers incomplete. Just flat out drop by Parachute when they cross midfield. And it is play action on first down. And Van Dyke does launch downfield and has a man wide open. It's Arroyo, and the tight end is run out of the 10. That's very much in the Gaddis MO, isn't it? Yeah. Back in the backfield. And you fake it to him, flip it to Mallory. Finally, the tight end's got some space. Big fella's been contained all night, but he is a weapon and rumbles down to the 36. With three on the play clock. Gets it into Jacoby George. And he has got a crease. Makes a cut. Jacoby George hurdles a man. Welcome back from a two-game suspension. His first action. And comfortable to find someone to make a play here. They rush three. He's got time. It's a long throw. The catch is made, but short of the marker, I believe. Keyshawn Smith, are they going to give him forward progress? And Dyke on the crossing route. Mallory makes the catch. It's a first down, and the big, long-legged tight end gallops into AM territory. He's really their best weapon with Restrepo out. And throwing with... Van Dyke rolls and delivers, and that's George, Jacoby George, who's made a, a couple catches tonight in his first action of the season. And Dyke looking that direction, delivers underneath, and it's Parrish who makes the catch, but is knocked down immediately. And Dyke looks to his left, makes a throw to the sidelines, and it's Bouchard Smith who makes a man miss and scoots for a first down into Aggie territory. Here's the ball game. And it's incomplete. Delivered it under duress. Bouchard Smith off his hands. Drops have been a problem for this receiving core since the beginning of training camp. And the Aggies are going to survive.